Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to show you the memory based questions of SEBI phase 2 for the year 2022. So we have the memory based questions from the year 2020, 2021, 2022 and yes, you should be using these all previous year questions in order to make your streamlined preparation. So I have started this video series where I will bring you all the previous year memory based questions. Exactly, they will not be the same, but approximately 80 to 90 percent, they are same. So you can just treat them as the actual examination questions. Now, what exactly this video series will give to you? This video series will give you all the memory based questions from year 2020 for both objective and the coding paper. Then for 2021, the same goes and for 2020 as well. There was a pattern change also. All those things will also be taken care and you will get all the questions which are available with us to give you a precise idea that what is the level of examination and how you are going to prepare it. So now let's begin with the questions of the coding round. So this particular round it happens in the phase two where you actually have to code certain questions and those questions have to be uh, in the manner where uh, they will not give you any choice. So one thing that I want to tell you that in 2022, the examination happened twice because there was one recruitment which was not good enough to incorporate all the uh, seats Basically, the entire examination uh, went bad because out of the 14 seats or 12 seats, there were only two people who got selected and rest of the seats were vacant because people were not able to pass the mem this uh, phase two examination. But it was not the candidate's fault. It was the Pariksha platform fault, like not exactly the fault, but the platform was not exactly that good so that people were facing a lot of issues while coding and that led it to this mishappening where we were having a recruitment in which the seats were vacant a lot. Now, uh, keeping that aside, the memory based question in that particular uh, uh, year, you will get two set like that. So the very first set has five question in which you have three 10 marker question. So these three 10 marker questions are like this, that you will be asked to remove the duplicates words from a sentence. So basically how it happens, when you have the coding questions in SEBI, you will be having a Pariksha platform. If you don't know anything about the Pariksha platform, I have already made a detailed video on Pariksha platform, how it looks like, how the UI works, what all features it offers, how you will get the problem statement, the input output specification, how you would submit the code, how you will get to know that your test cases are being passed or not. Everything is being detailed discussed in that video. Go and watch that video to get an understanding of the real time programming a tool that you will be using in your phase two examination. So basically, whenever you are going to have a question, that question will be the problem statement, the one which I am showing you right now. And after that, you will be having input output specification. So you have to write your program in order of that only. So what the input specification tells you that in what format the program is going to feed input the test cases to your code you have to only take that input specification how to take the input that will be given in the input specification how you will receive the output that will be given in the output specification and then entire question you can put in any three languages out of C++, Java and Python. You can choose any language for any question. You can code one question in one language and the other question in the other language. So you can see the 10 marker questions which are listed here are very easy. First one is to remove the duplicate from a sentence. Second one is to multiply two complex numbers where you have the imaginary part and the in real part like something which is called as x plus i y where i will be iota sign and you will have imaginary part in or the with in addition to the real part so how you will do that so it is not asking you to multiply something which is normal it is asking you to multiply something which can be more scientifically used in the calculations then the third question is about you have two strings and you have to do the comparison based on the subset of the strings. So if A is equal to B, how it happens? If A is a subset of B, then how it happens? If B is a subset of A, then how it happens? And if A is not even equal to B, how it will happen? So all the things have to be compared before you give any kind of comparison result between A and B. So these all things you have to compare 
and then you have to provide your output. So these were the three questions. They are easy questions and therefore they are for 10 marks. Then comes the difficult questions which are of 30 marks and 40 marks. So you can see the 30 mark of question is asking you something related to construction of a hereditary tree of a kingdom given that his sons, his brothers, their son and so on. So there will be a hierarchy for the kingdom and you have to output that if the king died, who will be the next king. So basically this is something which deals with the tree data structures and more over the binary source tree. So whatever you have as is like the kings, so the one who will be having the great, like the oldest one will be at the top will be the root node and so on there will be the nodes which will be like their brothers or their brother's sons depending upon their age so if the main root die you have to actually change the entire structure of the binary source tree to select the new uh root node and then you will again change the entire thing so this particular question is directly and uh practical application of binary source tree where you will be involved in deletion of the node every time and then recreating the tree every time and the one that you have deleted will not be the answer the one that will be taking the place of the deleted node will be the answer here so this was the tip for you if you want to code this question in any language you are free to do it c plus plus java or python again the fourth uh, question is like this and now the fifth question asks you about the train arrival time and the waiting time given there is the arrival time and the waiting time for the trains they are given it is just like IRCTC you have the schedule there then the uh, priority of the trains are also present that some trains are like Rajdhani Express, Shatabdi Express and some are like passenger trains and you have to output the departure times accordingly so according to the priority you have to do it so you can easily use a queue data structure to use uh, to entirely make it and you can imagine it like a priority queue scheduling and then based upon the arrival time the waiting time it is a clear cut direct application of the job scheduling that we do in operating system so if in clear idea that there we are using the queue data structure so definitely the data structures that will be used here will be queue only then you have to assign the priority to it and according to the arrival time and the waiting time you have to make sure that the departures are made accordingly definitely the question was not only like this there were some more details about the question in the paper but the soul of the question was this only so you can easily see the 30 marker and the 40 marker questions were basically the application kind of questions now the update that i am going to give you is now the pattern has been changed so now the pattern is having total of nine question out of which you have to attempt six question earlier you had five question and you have no choice you have to attempt all the five questions and depending upon how many test cases you pass you will get the marks i have already discussed about how the marking has been done you can again go to that Pariksha uh, video and can find out how the marking actually happens and can get a good amount of knowledge how your question will be evaluated now coming to the new pattern of the exam now there are nine questions and out of that you have to attempt six questions the difficulty level of the questions has been reduced tremendously and definitely there are no application based question like this that they give in that recruitment where people were facing a lot of difficulty to pass the exam so now if you imagine that the exam will be of 30 40 marker tough question no it's not it is way easier now but the number of questions has been increased it is now six and they have also mentioned that under what category they are going to ask how much amount of uh like question or what particular topic will be having what kind of weightage so they have clearly laid down that thing i will be discussing and making that video in another uh topic so we can detailly discuss about that thing but right now just make sure that you attempt these questions solve this question but do not get afraid because the pattern is changed and more like we did now so that was all from my side for this video if you like this video and this video was very useful for you so please do like the video and give us some motivation by subscribing and hitting the bell icon of our channel so that you can get regular update from our side prepare 50 percent faster with high zambi by enrolling us with our sebi it course if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment section or can reach out to us at hello at or on the number that is flashed on the screen right now if you want to look at our demo courses go to our website that is www.ixambi.com till i bring the next video keep practicing stay updated